That's a great 50 laugh. Let me try. <laughs> you a Muppet. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> yeah. I, I had everybody wearing G unit, like like white beaters and G stuff. Yeah, Lloyd. G unit. <laughs> Baby oil. No, you're you know Kermit, my nigga. You are just Kermit the homeless frog. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? I'm to hear more. And I am Patrick Cloud. And this is The Internet is Undefeated. Let's go! Internet's undefeated. Internet's undefeated. Internet's undefeated. Internet's undefeated. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, you did catch it. Oh, I was going to switch to it. Internet's undefeated. Internet's undefeated. Da 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 da. That was a little rough. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was All a little right. rough. <laughs> 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 I saw what you did there. <laughs> hey, and we have a uh, a guest today. Special What's guest up? in the house, man. Comedian what? Brent Taylor in this mug, yo. What's up, people? Hey, yeah. and uh, we're going through some construction. We're doing a little move, so mm -hmm. we are on the arts and rap set. Uh, crossover episode. This is we're crossing over with uh, all deaf music, and we have a child. <laughs> 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 big kid. We, we fit big it all. Kid. We fit it all together, man. Here's some crayons. But I'm a big <laughs> kid. Uh, <laughs> Don't draw on the table. We're gonna uh, do some snacks <laughs> to keep him. This is my land. Getting unruly. This is my land. We got orange slices Perfect. for Brent. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> hey, in, in my world right in now. A, in a uh, nap, right? All right. This nigga gonna take a nap mid podcast. <laughs> Don't you miss when life was just like that? You went to school, everything was colorful. You man, were just like, yeah, what's you didn't realize how good you had it. Man. I feel good in here. I couldn't wait to grow up and do coke, and there now I'm just like, man, I wish, <laughs> man, I wish naps were the only thing I had to work. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> it's just colorful. Remember, your, everything you had, you had snacks, your to do list, you just drew stuff, apple slices, pre cut. Man. Nah, I had to worry about that. Your Back teacher was. Fine, usually. Yeah. Why it was all like like the younger you were, your teachers the were kind of cute. Man, kindergarten teachers was yeah. fine. They all had dumps Just because they dumps. were still going out at night and stuff. Yeah. You can't do that and oh, go to high man. school. They're too stressed out. High school. When you get <laughs> older, teaching? the teachers get busted and busted by your <laughs> senior year. It's Cause like it's, ah, because they stressed, man. man. You know, yeah. difficult. Teacher ain't got young no kids lips. Is the perfect like entry level. So they come in like oh, I want to teach. So they start with young kids, and then after two years, they're like oh, I can't do these young kids. I need some kids that right. understand. For real. They go to middle school, and they feel like middle school is like that's when you start. Like I was a seventh grade science teacher. Oh Middle my school God. students were are the fucking worst. You were in okay. charge of our youth? Yes. Were yes. You? I was teaching science, man. I love science. Mr. Tahir? Mr. Tahir. Mr. Moore? I was knocking Mi moms Mr. Down. Mr. Moore? You sound like I a porn was, star. <laughs> I was knocking moms down. And really? You weren't taking care of the children? They thought I was going to pass their kids. I was like, your kid's still dumb, but I'm finna get these yams wow. right now. Were they married? No, nah, no, nah, not most of them. The single moms? Okay. <laughs> knocking down the single moms. I know. What type of moms must have been into Mr. Moore? You know them like the the talk to the manager haircut. Wow. I, my my son needs more playing time. I got a haircut. lot of ponytails and I got a lot I of. I don't trust you. I know bobs. I know you ain't shit. So I could see like if a kid was being bad or something, you just thinking I'm about to fuck your mom's way. Just oh wait. yeah yeah yeah. And I'm not leaving early the next morning too. You gonna see me leave out. Oh no, wake you up, didn't. Go in the kitchen like this, and they be like, Miss. That's Mr. happened. Moore? Wow. That's happened. You're here. I only happened like once, here. honestly. Only wow. Happened once. Then you saw him like an hour later at school. <laughs> Am I in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> nah, Not but your anymore. mom's vagina's in trouble. <laughs> wow. Not Put anymore. It on time out. I feel dirty on this set. This is so wrong. Yeah, talking yeah, about better. this. It's even it's better so here. Jesus. Fuck them kids. And I, I, as an adult, now that I like know teachers, uh -huh. I be thinking like, what was my teachers doing? Right. Jesus Christ. Hey, teachers, teachers be smashing. Wild. What? Man, they I be getting drunk. The they school. be getting... I smashed. At the school? Uh, at yeah, the school? teacher conferences. Yeah, man. Absolutely. I was getting it. Because I was still in college teacher. when I was teaching. What about when you was, oh, in, wow. when you was in school? Was you smashing teachers? No, nah, I didn't smash I never did teachers. that. Did you? See? No, but I wanted. When I was in college, Everybody yes. Wanted to. We were college, smashing, smashing your professors. I smashed some some uh, some of the teachers, some of the staff, and then one of my professors. I smashed his daughter. That don't count, fool. That was his daughter. Uh, Wait, I had a brain. Yeah. I was like, he, was like his. he didn't want me to. <laughs> <laughs> but the jokes, nigga. <laughs> wow. Damn, I've Damn. never done that. Jokes are always get them, man. Jokes are great icebreakers. Wow. Yeah, yeah man. We out here, cuss. Man. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's get are. it started. <laughs> well, that was entertaining. Right. That was actually very, <laughs> that was very fun to hear. That was a great actually. opening. You just have so many side stories in your man, life. Man, I have lived crazy. a lot of lives, man. I've lived a lot of lives, dude, from a 
working at junkyards to white castles. You got a freckle for each event. All of your lives <laughs> were <laughs> fucked up though. It was, none of them was good. Hey man, I'm you good with my all head. bad lives. Hey man, you know what I'm saying? But they made me a better person. You know what I'm saying? Okay. My wealth of knowledge from experience. You right, my brother. You know what I'm saying? We out here, cuz. How'd you make a good moment out of that? He's talking about smashing his teachers. And are you saying cuz with an S at the end? Nah, it's, it's his tongue. Okay. Yeah, I got the list. Thing country, with his tongue. Yeah, uh, country okay. Speaking of crazy entertainment, uh-huh. this weekend, fam, this was like the weekend, this was like the pinnacle of entertainment. I had to go to the therapist yesterday. Between in game and game of Okay, clothes, I was like, was this related? I was a nervous <laughs> wreck. I was a nervous wreck. I went wreck, to therapy. Man. Thanos broke you down? Man. That whole encounter? Did y'all Well, cry first of all, no spoilers. Let's not do any spoilers. No spoilers. Yeah. Um, uh, just because, like, I know people got, like, lives. And yeah, they, they they quick question. Did y'all cry when y'all saw the Avengers? I did not cry. I teared up. That's and the same thing, fool. No, it's not. For a, for a black man, maybe. Right. You black. I am. But <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm a fool. When I say I cry, I'm talking about tears falling, boo-hoo. Making noises and Teary, stuff like that. Teary, <laughs> teary, you, you, you yeah. just like, that's that. That's that. Unless, 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 unless you do the... <gasps> right. Yeah, then it's not a cry. But if you just holding it in and tears are just falling that's just out, emotional. You that's just, just emotional. No, no, no. I think, okay. if they, if, I think if they fall, you're crying. If you keep them in, you, you are almost there. I only cried out of one eye, though. That's that don't cry. count. What does that matter? That don't count, right? Yes, yeah. it matters. Yes, no, because on this side nobody knew what was up. <laughs> but on this side, I was still like, crying. You just, you just gave. You ever just do one of these? You just, uh, if, the, if the tears are just in your just eyes, bow. you just give your eyes a bath. You hit them uh, a, a Native you. American cry. Right. It was, oh, but then I looked behind me and everybody else was crying too. Yeah, everybody was crying. I was just in there like trying to be a thug. Oh, hitting y'all too right now. Okay. I don't. It was it, there was sad parts, but the, a lot of parts that I guess were supposed to get me didn't get me. People, let me say this: Do not bring your significant other to yes. the movie on a date just so y'all can go somewhere. Don't let that be your date night. If nah. that person is not into the movie, don't where's bring Batman? Them. Like, yeah, this chick, <laughs> me, it was me, Kev, Doughboy, Jason, uh, Julian, this is Jason's, uh, his when son. When did the X-Men it was, come it was, out? It was, it was a lot of us. <laughs> we all at the movies, and I'm sitting next to this guy and this chick, <laughs> and they come in, he got the Thor hammer, she got the gauntlet on, I'm like, oh, they really about this life. Oh, no. They sit down, I'm next all to the, the dude, extras. and the chick is next to the dude, so she's talking immediately. Like through the through the through the previews, nah, I'm like I'm gonna stall part. her out. You know what I'm saying? I like previews, but everybody's talking. I'm gonna stall her out. Movie starts, and within she the first stop. couple scenes, she's like, "Now, now what happened?" Now this is how <laughs> she's whispering, cause she's turning to him like, "Okay, so what happened now?" Now he's turning back like, "Yo, you know what I'm saying? It just you know, yeah." You know what I'm he's whispering back, you try to but be she, subtle she's with. obviously either on something or she's drunk, right? Uh-huh. So I give him two looks. Was she pretty? And I, Huh? Was she pretty? Now, fuck all that. I don't give a fuck how pretty what? you are. Don't fuck this movie up. I mean, I'm just trying to see where your, where your temperature was. Nah, fuck was. that, bro. I gave her two looks, and then <laughs> I, gave her, a, I the- gave her a huff look. The- <sighs> right? She didn't respond to none of that shit, so then I had to just check her. Like, well, you yo, just fam. look like you're out of breath a lot. So. Yeah. <laughs> That looks like that. She just, just saw like, okay, what? What's the, going on? Why are you? Might have been just I, I like crazy to, previews or something. snoring, sir. I had, to, I, had to, I had to check him real quick, and she apologized, and the dude apologized. What'd, she, so. what'd you say? Uh, hey, y'all got to learn how to be uh, whisper a little quieter. Y'all need to need to lead. Simple as that. Oh, I mean, Stern face. The man with the red vines on his teeth is very upset. <laughs> <right now. laughs> Those are just gums. Us- <laughs> <laughs> I think we should be quiet. <laughs> he might be a villain. Nah. They, felt, they felt the energy. They felt the energy coming from I wasn't playing no fucking games. No, I was ready to felt, shut it they, down. They smelt the breath from that huff. You were like, uh, <sighs> and they, well, they would have been threatened shit, by honey. you, Pat, with your, they, your, your purse around they your chest. They changed, they changed theaters. You want to try to get in English this time? They changed the church. The t- the t- I think he's being right, hope right know, now. I'm going to have a counter for every time you fuck up your words. Just right. for that. <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> I'm going to write it down. To hear, uh, I'm going to call them gum ups instead <laughs> of mess ups. Put cuh. Right, now put one for you too put because cuh. you've been fucking up lately too. All Number right. one, cuh. What up, cuz? Mess ups. See, I did that right. for me. All right, let's keep score. All right, let's go. All right, I have something to say about your hair. People, nope. <laughs> people who spoil things on the internet. Because I had the ruin, I had the uh, the ending ruined for me days before. It was crazy. Like th- these people must have seen it in an early. I don't know. They must have worked on the movie, but mm. they were like posting on like Tuesday, Wednesday ish, 
And I don't know what type of person, like they would literally just post a, a picture of the dead character and be like, R.I.P. blah, 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 blah. This person dies. Spoiler. Not sorry. And I'm just like, who? what? I don't I get hope it. your I house gets it. on fire. That's where I'm at with spoilers. Well, yeah, uh, me too. I mean, you don't have to be home, but I hope you lose something that, that's valuable and meaningful to you since you ruined something I hope something your valuable hamster's home, though. Because <laughs> that's like, it's cold, but it's not Did like. Did you at least comment on it? Like, make something like. Oh, I blocked angry all of them. face, angry face, angry I face. I blocked everybody because I don't get it. But then you can't. Devil. If you go into like World Stars comments or anybody's comments, people just put so and so dies. Ha ha ha. And it's like it's so weird to like for people to like enjoy something as a as a group and for you to just like do it early just to like ruin everybody's time. That's yeah. such like like a weird type of person to me. For some people, that's the only way they can feel powerful. It's like they felt like they were like part of something. Like, ah, oh, I'm exclusive. I I know something yeah. that everybody does. But it's so weird. Like I heard that some dude got beat up for like yelling the spoilers like to the people Outside in line. Of, yeah, yeah. In the and line. it's like yeah, that that makes sense. That, that makes, makes sense. sense. That makes sense. I don't sense. typically people are passionate about violence, this. violence, but that I would like go up and hit them. You deserve yeah. it. Because it's like people enjoy this type of stuff. It's fun. Right. <laughs> don't ruin it for me. That makes no sense. Because you can only live that once. You can't relive. That shock and awe, awe of that of that moment. I got a question. Was one How for come? Tahir? Okay, cool. Shock and awe. Okay. <laughs> shock. Okay. Sound like Thor. <laughs> <laughs> Rock the rock. <laughs> I got a question. How come when the Avengers drop, it's dropping in the movies? Everybody talking about it. The best spoiler you getting is like on the internet or something like that. But when like a real, real, real urban movie drop, like. NWA or something like that, straight out of Compton. <laughs> we getting example? copies of it or something like that. Like, <laughs> it's bootlegged out the game. Like, fuck a spoiler. <laughs> like, niggas is, is watching it at home. They watching on their phone or right. something like that. Like, they right. seen it. Like, they watching it next to you on on <laughs> in your car or something like that. Like, well, this. well, people were protecting us. I mean, that's considered an urban movie to me. And people were protecting it us as spoilers was. with their soul. But what I don't like is, like, people would get, like, one or two uh, plot holes in us. And they'll be like, see, that movie's trash. And then they would all, they would be talking about all the plot holes in Avengers, and they would just be like, "Yeah, but it's a superhero movie." I'm like, "Y'all didn't give niggas that same." They don't. <laughs> they don't. They don't give <laughs> them that same. We do not get that same courtesy. Give that same energy. We don't get that. Hey, um, I wrote a joke about Avengers. Let's in, hear it. It was in the theaters. I want to hear it. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> all right. So, uh, what did Thor use when he wanted to protect his butt? Pause. What? Asgard. Uh, Gia. Okay, that's a Patrick joke. Okay, okay. Ooh. I liked <laughs> that's a good it. One. Brett liked it. Ah, New Asgard. season of Dad Jokes coming out February 39th. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right, all right. All right. Yeah, I, I, I like how you stayed in the happening. pocket, though. You stayed in the pocket, yeah. though. That's what it's all about, though. I, I wrote it in, like, his first scene in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't gas him, Brent. <laughs> Let's jump into this Game of Thrones, though. Can we talk about that? Game of Thrones talking? also had a big episode. No spoilers. Didn't, didn't but see it. Yeah. I didn't see it. Oh, you haven't seen it yet? I'm still on season it. three. So it's like, oh. I, I don't even understand spoilers. I'm so far Fucking behind. Fucking A. Well, for those that have seen it, you know, one of the biggest episodes of this series, not just this season, one of the biggest episodes pretty big episodes. of this series. Uh, fucking fantastic. I didn't see a lot of it coming. Um, the ending, I kind of pieced together, but yo, fucking great job. You know, they weren't going to even air Game of Thrones. The original director mm -hmm. had fucked it up so bad. That this episode? HBO, That's no, why no, it took no. a minute the, the to bring one, the... The first, the first Game of Thrones, first season of Game of Thrones, uh -huh. um, was shot, and the director did such a f just horrible job. They were finna scrap it. But then they got another director, and they reshot everything, and this is the Game of Thrones that we have grown to love. Is this, is, that must right. have made the writer feel really good. Is this like, show I knew I had something. Is this I show knew spooky it. or something? Is huh? it scary? I ain't never seen it. Is it scary? Spooky. Is it thrilling? Is it scary? Like, maybe to a little boy. Yeah. <laughs> it's more of just a... Uh, Are there werewolves, father? <laughs> 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 Are there dragons? <laughs> Can you leave the light on? <laughs> Brent, why are you talking like that? We're in, we're in Inglewood. <laughs> I can respect from all the kids in Inglewood. Just know uh, that. Know that. <laughs> I mean, did you haven't seen any episodes ever? I, nah, man. Like, it ain't that I haven't wanted to watch it or nothing like that. I just I haven't gotten a chance to watch it or nothing like that. So sometimes it's one of the things I just left. You got the first, the first season is rough. Like, yeah. for me. Because it was like, it starts right off the bat with some incest. And you know, niggas don't—they be looking at that like, oh, okay. And then, uh, <laughs> okay. And then it was like, 
there wasn't a, like a lot of fighting, a lot of confusing terminology, a million characters. Oh yeah. my god, I was like walked through the first two seasons by an expert. Okay, um, <laughs> that's but, uh, also it. A, really picks up though. It's a uh, it's a little different. It's an power. article on like the top twelve <laughs> or top ten episodes yeah. that you need to see <laughs> before you watch this last <laughs> season. If you just want to speed through it, you can do that. <laughs> No, it's nothing like power, nigga. Okay. It's a little different. Wait, did he ask you like Bob? Yes. Wow. It's a little different. I missed that completely. <coughs> you know, speaking of power, actually, have y'all been keeping up with this 50 Cent trolling yes. uh, the, yes. p- the executive of power? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> 50 Cent might be the, the, the best troll on of all, of time. all time. The heavyweight champion. Like, Takashi 6 9 for sure studied this nigga yeah. in every way possible. And it's ama- it's pretty amazing. So, um, <laughs> if you don't know, um, over the weekend, uh, Fifty has been going back and forth uh, with a, a producer of uh, Power named Randall Emmett. Um, a b- apparently, this dude owed Fifty like a million dollars, and Fifty has been cyberbullying the <laughs> shit. out You know, of Fifty him. don't play with his money, bro. Oh uh, my god! But it's hilarious. That's why it's because you know it's wrong. But he's so funny, and it's so entertaining <laughs> that you can't help but just put cry, face, cry faces in his comments. Oh, let me yeah, go ahead and get that one. There right you back. go. Um. <laughs> but yeah, you you can't you can't help but put cry faces in his comments because it's just like he's so funny, and it's like he does it in a in a funny way. It's not like Takashi. Well, Takashi was pretty funny too. Takashi was angry though about it though. But nah, it, he was he was he was more trollish. He was more funny. But I was him. just like, how is nobody touching him? Whereas Fifty Cent, he always does it to like people, and you just like, yeah, Fifty will be good. Yeah, <laughs> Fifty can Fifty hold his good. own. You feel like you can? He can hold his own. But he got the million dollars, <laughs> and he called out her his um his girl because like, old boy's girl. His girl like was on the, I don't know what show she was on. Yeah, she was, was on she talking a about TV. It? She, she was like talking about how like. She basically like had like sex with him to first get a night. role. Yeah, she said she. I let him hit the first night, and then the next day he started giving me all these crazy. Gifts Fifty like called her that whole ass girlfriend of yours. <laughs> 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 straight to it. And then there was another clip of um him uh, or her talking about uh PJs and stuff, and she was just like, "Yeah, we broke up, so I'm, I won't be on a private jet anymore." But I mean, I'll suck dick to get on a private jet. Like as long as you have a mouth, you can get on a PJ. And she was like high fiving her friends, and we were just like. That's what I like about 50. 50 just hits you with shit you already doing and saying. He not, like, slandering you like that. He just shines well, a little light That's the thing. DJ for the PJ. You really? She accused 50 Cent of me tooing her. Right. Nah. And she, everybody was like, yo, don't you throw that in there. Nah. You said that. You did and said all that. He can literally go to court and be like, but, but you honor, you said you saw what she said. What's this on the internet? Oh, it's free game, she said bro. She, she said she let him hit on the first night. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, man, she a hoe. I don't understand <laughs> who you decide to get an impersonation of like how do you decide like who to sit down and study <laughs> it's like charles barkley like the most random p- idris yeah. elba <laughs> <laughs> this comic last night did an impersonation of charles barkley and shaq he was actually pretty good white dude though like mm-hmm. big tall white dude he That's was killing up. it i was That's like hilarious. how do you Imper- people uh, that impersonations used to be huge yeah it's a lot. Who's it's that lot dude, Ari Spears? Yeah. Who oh, used he to find a way to do uh, Jay-Z yeah. and DMX yeah, <laughs> all the yeah. time. <laughs> he could do it. Jay Farrell's really good with it, too. Mm-hmm. Jay Farrell's mm-hmm. probably the best that I've seen. Him and yeah. Atheon were holding it down for a while. Mm-hmm. So. Atheon? Oh, yeah. Atheon does good uh, impersonations. Uh, moving right along. Yeah. Um, have you guys seen this Sonic the Hedgehog trailer? I'm yeah. all in. Really? I like it. I like it, too, Doug. I ain't gonna lie, bro. There's I so love much nostalgia Jim Carrey. around it. Yeah. Jim Carrey, this Jim looks Carrey like show, an show, amazing man. role for it. I think I'm going to watch it just for him. I'm not sure how I feel about Sonic. He what looks kind of s- weird. He's like long. Pause. <laughs> He's not real, first off, Patrick. I wish he was like sh- like short like Lilo from Lilo and Stitch. Well, no, Stitch. I didn't watch that show. But they're trying to make him, <laughs> they're trying to make him in a movie and make him real. That's why they gave him fur. Fur, I'm fine with he that. He got Pumas on, bro. That's I hate that. The Sonic shoes were iconic. He and was dope. a gangster. And, like they showed the why gangster Gangsta's side. Paradise the, the, was playing. Gangsta's Paradise is playing hey. in the trailer. It's just so confusing. Because he's got he a crib, bro. I bet Fortnite makes an appearance. Wait a minute. He's a Wait. Crib. Sonic was a crib. Wait, he was and that's what they were showing. Like Nip, no, yeah, like his Nipsey. Only clothes he got were Pumas, red. like Nipsey. The, the marathon the continues. The Sonic shoes were already dope. He did not need a Puma. He had on but all blue. He had to have another and pair. So like, if he's on Earth, you know what I'm saying? They show all the the pair of shoes he went through. So right. they, he got he got to rock something. He on Earth. They don't no, sell the they Sonic. Just want reason, they just want a reason. They just want a reason to sell this when they could have just made the actual Sonic shoe and sold that. I've been waiting for that to come out. I mean, the if that's Sonic your only shoe? problem mm-hmm. with it, it's still a good trailer though. 
I think what? Come. What? I said that that's your only a problem. Trailer? I said trailer, though. You added at least four you letters. Did. That's not true. You did. Same Audience, Louis, what do you think? Comment right live. here at this moment. It's not live. You I know, guys but they'll comment like this shit is live. They'll, they'll comment. I read. I go see. through and read the comments. They put them in. They put them in. They put them in. I don't know. I I like the. I think the CGI is dope. I think the casting of um, Robotnik is super sick. But I just feel like I wish Sonic looked a little dope. I like how he looked like when he's like in the little. Did you f- Sonic okay, ball. his voice. Gangster. His voice is cool. Gangster. I like the voice. It's um, what's the dude's name from Parks and Rec? Ben Schwartz. There you go. Rafi. The music that was made you connect. Rafi? The music made you connect yeah. to the character. I don't the know why I was listening dun, to Coolio. Dun. And then in your <laughs> mind, you're like, oh, I remember that song. Okay, is this the remix? Mad, I are, are they about to, to show the remix? To no, not, not listen it's to Coolio one. until he cuts his hair. I want him to cut his, his hair. hair. Have you seen Coolio's hair lately? Or yeah. if you can even call it that. But if he doesn't, you won't know it's Coolio. You just think it's a... Coolio Smoked out black guy. No, right? no, you he know Coolio. He needs at least one or two no, uppers. And then like, I think that's Coolio. That's old ah, Coolio. If he see? cut it, you'll just think that's Lamar. Coolio shit is worse than Stevie Wonder's. And Stevie this, Wonder shit is fleeting. Is that Kevin? This nigga look like a bat. <laughs> yes. I am not a fan of it. But you still it. know it's Coolio. <laughs> this nigga look like a boss Listen, in hell. He need like a couple <laughs> strands. That's, that's how you ruin your legacy, by wearing the hair like that. I'm going to let that slide. You did not say legacy, though. I did say legacy. If he That's cut his hair, he'll legacy. look like Charlie Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> so he needs. No, no. He will. He you it. got. Oh, my hey God. Hey, girl. Look at that. How you doing? This gives my me name hope. is Coolio. If, if he's hanging on to six dreads. <laughs> six dreads. I'm going I'm to keep this rocking, too. And he got three on each and side. he's poking out the hat. Look. Busting <laughs> out the band up. Right. You see it? I hate it. I don't, I don't like no parts of it. I want him to cut that, it. You saw it. Go back to the hat. That might not even be dressed. That just might be braids <laughs> attached to the hat that he just wear on Saturday sometimes. I don't like, want. I don't want, want to do his hair. He just put the hat on and it just got him sticking out. I'm Coolio, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving right along. <laughs> fuck the braids. When I don't want to be known. Let's, let's keep a count of all the things I don't fuck with: Kanye, kids, and then braids. Kids? What kids. you think Travis Scott gonna have in, t- in, in 15 years? He gonna have the Coolio's. So well, you think know it's Travis I think, Scott. I think tra- Travis from Texas. He'll mess around and go back to ways before he'll, he loses his, his braids. Y'all won't know that he's Travis Scott, though. You'll think that he... Because we don't know his face? No, if he cut his, if he cut his dress, I don't think you would know it's him. I think, you still, I think he'll still have a face. It's gonna be interesting to see like receding hairlines with face tattoos. I don't think we've seen that yet. Mm. Mm. Like mm. Old, old niggas with like all of this shit here. Uh-huh. And then, like, when your shit's pushed back, that's all you got to do is watch, hilarious. watch Locked Up. You'll see some of that. Yeah. I've hmm. seen a couple young dudes that their hairline is getting pushed back. I'm looking at one right now. But I don't have no tattoos on my face. That's true. Is your but hairline going back? No. Nah. It doesn't look like it. It nah, ain't. It, it used to be right here. You see? No. Nah. Nah, it was something right here. It's nah. not alarming yet. Put it's it not like alarming. That. You know I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked you're dyeing your beard the same color as your skin. <laughs> <laughs> he goes in. Can I Ginger. get the uh, apple, gold, the <laughs> apple golden dye? <laughs> I want apple wood beer. Apple wood. <laughs> apple Let me get the beer. cedar chip. <laughs> cedar <laughs> chip. <laughs> cedar chip. <laughs> cedar chip red. You get the <laughs> dye for bath hair, and body bro. work. This is done. Do your hair. You don't well, say shit to me about hair grooming not. until you do your hair. I enjoy my hair. Your shit look like a, a, a uh-uh. angry spider web. <laughs> what? An angry spider web? Yeah, it's all balled up. What is that? Your hair? Hmm. Cobwell head ass little boy? Let me just. Okay. No, they don't count. Put a couple of How? Just, put three of them on. How? There. How? How was there that one? Because there's nothing no. on this earth called a cobweb. <laughs> cobweb? A yes, cobweb. it is. Cobweb bad K- boy. K A H L W E B. There's a W in there, too. I heard that. Cobweb. You're not going to use my accent against me. I said cobweb. I want some. Don't ever go to a spooky mansion with this nigga. He's going to be like, oh, it's cobweb. All of these cobwebs. I want to see Bobby Brown. Speaking of shit that ain't right. Uh, <laughs> hate on niggas from the South. That's what it is. It's, it's, it's this West Coast hate right now. They so, fuck with the South. so apparently a lot of niggas um, who went to Coachella paid $400 to see Tame Impala and get herpes. And get herpes. There is a huge outbreak of herpes at Coachella. What's Usher there? I don't know, but um, there was plenty of rappers there. That's okay. fucked up. Hey, someone said something <laughs> crazy. Someone said that's something crazy. If there up. is a rapper that's infected... And his homies, he brings like six homies each, and they smash one girl a night that weekend. 
Man, that I'm is a, Resident Evil. I'm not gonna. Play, okay, I, <laughs> I'm just gonna confirm that it's very true about the rappers. I know a few rappers, and yeah, they got oh, that. Oh really? Th- then they got that thing, dog. Like, oh shit. Well, that makes sense, I guess. But then you be thinking about it so much drugs they do and so I was much just lean. Like, be sure, right. So I'm like, I think that like, lean, lean stuff a ki- I, I think it'll kill it. You know what I'm saying? You can what? get you can get no. herpes a couple of times if you drink and lean because it'll, no. it'll, it'll, it'll kill it. It'll kill it. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta stay Ladies on it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is nigga if logic get, 101. If you get chlamydia and you just keep drinking it, it's gonna bust. You know what I'm saying? Your mouth gonna clear up. You gonna it'll kill it. It's strong. First of all, Holy chlamydia. Shit. You gotta get has activists. To do with I was your just mouth. thinking that. That's, you gotta get that's activists. Number one. That was where the ignorance but started. But it'll go yeah. down. It'll go down to your to your what? <laughs> to your crotch. When, I mean, was it, it worth correcting any of that? It's nope. all it's a liquid. horribly yeah. wrong. <laughs> Trust me. Just cut this out. Because you can't be taking the drugs that they got from the doctor, uh-huh. or as you would say, the doctor, <laughs> and taking your lean. D-O-H-L-T-O-R. You got to pick one. You can't be taking D-O-R. all the drugs. He took an That's how he led to die. You can't just me. keep taking. That? We do that You here. think people That's are your friends? That's how Pimp C died. You can't be taking the drugs from the pharmacy and your drugs and doing it all together. You got to pick one Just because lean is over the counter does not mean it. Clears herpes. It's a <laughs> 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 Everything right. the doctor hands you over the counter does not clear up all the things that you want it F- to. First of all, <laughs> the medicine for herpes does not cure whole herpes. <laughs> it just it just like makes it subside a little bit. But you still got herpes. Sarah, you know a lot about. Yeah, you should know a lot about STDs. You okay. don't. Obviously, you don't because you think that lean would cure chlamydia. Obviously, so. then we started with ignorance. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying. We're going to try to veer this you know into education. No, just let it go. Let it die. <laughs> know a lot of, I know a lot of artists. I know a lot let of artists. Let that die. Because you I'm think not about sit this. here and be like, okay, okay lean think about this. Not if I'm a rapper, anything, right? Really. Uh-huh. If I'm a rapper and I'm busting out, I'm busting. I'm, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm shining right now. So all the ladies want to get at me. Stop. All the ladies want to <laughs> give me the draws, right? They all want to give me some pussy, right? I'm going to fuck. Right, and I'm gonna get a disease. But you think <laughs> just because I took yeah, my true. medicine, you think I'm not gonna get a, get a, another disease next week? You got damn right. I'm so, gonna get another one. So wait, so you better. So condoms is no way. Like this is blowing my You just gotta keep your medicine next to it. Matter of fact, even when you don't got the disease, just take some anyway. Let me just, let me just stop. Get, let me just stop you, you right about there. to get chlamydia again. In, this is I promise you, I'm gonna get it again next month. So I might as well just load up right now and then get that lean. If you, you fuck with somebody off. south of Pico, this is the logic that you're going to get. And then you get that link. You're, you're still and explaining this. This is crazy. No, yeah. Dick numb. <laughs> dick numb. Nigga. You don't feel none of that Nigga. shit. Nigga, unless you Everybody have else will be hurting, burning, but your dick numb. You don't feel nothing. Lean will cure a runny nose. That is about it. If and you have uh, a cold, that is it. Not cold sores. And will give you a numb penis. Your dick can get wet and do everything. Just Wait, slide up in it. Wait, why would your we need dick to move need on to be wet? What happened? Stop. Let's just go. Let's go to the next thing. This is over. women y'all fucking? Yes. All right, so <laughs> reeling this back to reality. That was real. I saw a meme on the internet that really made me think, and then I asked, I asked uh, the people on my page, and it, it, it caused a lot of unity in black and Mexican culture. All right, you know what you're going to say? Spit it out. So I asked, well, I guess this, this meme asks, do Mexicans look at black people tacos the same way that we look at white people chicken? Yes. Yes, I can confirm oh, that. Oh, yes. wow. I promise you, yes. Okay, look, I know this be- for a fact because I remember this is bomb spot, a taco spot. It's a uh-huh. black spot in L.A. called Sky's Tacos. Y'all been there before? Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Sky it's like taco. gourmet it's, tacos, right? Man, it's gourmet tacos, dog. Like, it's tacos, quesadillas, brill, all that shit. They got shrimp, lobster, all that in there. It's fire, right? I, t- I was dating this Mexican girl. She was like, where you want to go eat? I was like, I want to go to Sky's Tacos, my Does favorite place. Does she have place. herpes? No, 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 no. I just had to ask because he seems okay with it. She drink lean too. So we went to Sky's and she didn't know what it was. It was her first time. And she saw that it was black tacos. She just saw it. The place smells fire. It got new newspaper like articles saying that it's gold star. All like it's tell you that it's the best spot, right? I ordered my food. She just looked at it. She was like, nah, I'm good. And she sat there and just watched me eat. She refused to eat it. And then I'm thinking, like, what the fuck? And so we we real cool. And I remember asking, I was like, what the fuck is going on? White? She was like, look, we don't fuck with black people's tacos like like that. And I was Damn. like, why? I was like, why not? She was like, because that's weird to us. First off, you guys put lettuce and ketchup in your in your tacos. Niggas, Mexicans wait, don't put ketchup. Don't. Mexicans do not put ketchup in their tacos. Ketchup on tacos. Niggas put ketchup in it. If they put beef, uh, hamburger meat in it, seasoning. Sky did seasoning. that. Sky did no, that. No, I'm saying black people. Period. Put weird shit on tacos that me- Mexican taco is this. It's a 
it's a tortilla and meat and like sauce on it, like red sauce, green sauce, maybe a little pico de gallo or no, something I'm, like I'm that. I'm from you know, Los Angeles. Cilantro or something like that. That's it. But black people, no, we would put hamburger meat on it, turkey, um, ketchup, lettuce. I've never Stop done saying ketchup. ketchup. Tomatoes. Stop. Nobody diced puts tomatoes. Ketchup. Stop. Niggas put ketchup. ketchup on their tacos. I'm going to tell you this. Coming from the Midwest, coming from St. Louis, I thought Taco Bell was the gourmet of Y'all Mexican Y'all don't have Mexicans cuisine. in St. Louis. We, that's right. That's why I thought Taco Bell and Chipotle was the top of the tier. Like, this is it. And then I got out here and I went to a food truck and I was like, where's the sour cream? And they was like, no. Right. <laughs> right. They had all of these radishes like and sour, cabbage. Right. I was like, what the fuck like is this cabbage doing? We put well, first sour of all, cream, nigga. I just want to say this real quick. All the, the, the Mexicans I asked were far more accepting and, and than that. that. I think that's just weird. That's like me dating an Asian woman and seeing teriyaki chicken and being like, I'm not eating that shit. That's not how niggas do it. Like, why not just... Exploring somebody else's culture, so that was that was you just, just weird. said no, 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 no. You just said it though. Do they look at it how we look at white people with chicken? No, you eat I, fried chicken no, before, no, 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 but no. when you see a white person do it, there's certain this, things they do. The main like, answer, where's the seasoning? The main oh, okay. answer that I got, the main answer that I got was yes, we 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 kind of clown it because it's not authentic, but it's still good. Like we still season yeah. it, so they didn't really equate it to the same thing because we look at white people chicken like it's not seasoned. Like I wouldn't even eat that. I that, fuck with it. The most of the Mexicans that I talked to didn't say that. They said that they think it's good. Well, our food is still good, but like, they still clown it. Didn't they say they still clown it? They clown it, it but it ain't on like no, I don't fuck with that. I'm not eating that shit, dude. Fuck you. Guys. Do a poll if black people talk. Black people put ketchup on their tacos. Huh? That's not. The, I'm gonna do. The two do it two right other niggas at I'm this playing. table are saying we don't I'm do that. that not even just black people. Even white people do it, bro. White people. Put ketchup on taco. From my house, Del Taco and um, Taco Bell, I thought that sour cream, like you said, cheese even, mm-hmm. lettuce, I thought all that was cool. But no. Mexican tacos are simple. Right. Like meat, onions, cilantro. And that's then what I'm that's saying. It. And, and it's green fire. And, I'm it's fire. and it's fire. Bro. I mean, I, I never, prefer I, theirs, obviously. I never, I never had it like that until I moved out here. It's that and food it truck so shit. Small, I thought they were... I thought they were We make me. our tacos like hamburgers, bro. We do. With sub sandwiches and shit, yeah. Yeah, like literally we make it like a hamburger with a, with a bullshit. And that that is very, that's actually, I, I used to say sub sandwiches, but like a turkey burger is more, right. we make our shit like turkey burgers. That's all I'm saying. So, but I get what you were saying, how they without were being the kind about it, because if they do try it, if you go to Skies like, and is, actually oh, eat good. it, it is a fire ass taco. You, it, right. Black people still make bomb food, so it's still going to be fire. It's probably like how Jamaicans see our food. They're probably like, oh, this is good, but I mean, it ain't, it ain't ours. But it's good, you know. Okay, or maybe like a New Yorker eating pizza out here in L.A. They'd be like, "Oh, it's cool, nah, but it ain't a New, I, New York Yorkers, pizza." New Yorkers will take the first chance they get to be like, "Y'all pizza ain't shit. You want some real pizza? You gotta go to the Bronx, one hundred and fifty first in a thousand like Street B. Venice Beach pizza, man. I'm, I'm never mind. But then they they clown. Already, they come yeah. out here and go to like. 800 degrees or like some gourmet pizza. I don't know if that's a, that's a spot, yeah, right? 800, 800 degrees degree, or yeah. like, and then they go to some gourmet spot and be like, y'all don't know pizza? It's like, I don't think we really eat that. That's like yeah. some no hoes. It's, it's like only it's one place in LA that I know of that has like real New York pizza. It's uh, this spot on Fairfax right across from like um, Legends, mm-hmm. like two blocks, I mean two doors up from Sweet Chick. And they have a uh, remote, I mean, uh, uh, what is it? It's a reverse osmosis mm-hmm. water filtration system. And that's why... New York sis- New York reverse pizza is so osmosis. crispy because they use reverse osmosis in their water. I thought it was because of the rats. Huh? I thought it was because of the rats. Mm. Possibly. Because the rats I, I swim in the water. I foolishly try to have a serious conversation <laughs> with Brent, and every time he makes me regret it. Do you need mutant ninja turtles? <laughs> <laughs> Heroes but that pizza and I tastes show? completely different. I will say that. That, that pizza is fire as fuck. And do though. you take some of the red pepper off of your face <laughs> and sprinkle it on the pizza before you eat it? Just <laughs> He's on like, there. up the pies here. Everybody come get it. Everybody I was, I was slap Brent, <laughs> but because he's a lesbian, I don't know where that falls under abuse. <laughs> oh, and then God. he puts the leftover garlic knots in his hair. No, again, don't say shit about hair. You can't do nothing about hair, Pat. My hair looks delicious. It looks delicious. I don't know about that. That is uh, not the right adjective. It smells pretty good. That under I don't believe that either. Gosh, I, is that a mark yeah. for me? Yeah. I threw my markers. That's okay. We'll get you another one. We'll get you another one. delicious. Um, all right. Moving right along. Um, so there was a clout chasing teen uh, in Hartford, Hartford, Connecticut. Go ahead and grab one of them right there. Oh, shit, here you go. 
That's a pretty hard word to say. Heartfelt heart, connection. Heart, 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 heart. I mean, the story's heartfelt. Is that um, where they film uh, the Jerry Springer show and Maury and this? I, I thought that was Chicago. Chicago. In Connecticut? I thought that was I thought Chicago. They do it in Chicago. Connecticut. That kind of stuff. Nah, it's Chicago. But anyway. Because you don't see at the end of Jerry Springer, so you can write in and you never. Okay. So in Hartford, Connecticut, there was this team. <laughs> kind of looks like Bad Baby a little bit. But she was like. Hey, that's um, she was tagging like dicks and cherries and stuff on a Nipsey memorial. Go ahead and grab another one of them real quick. On a Nipsey Hustle memorial mural. See, that was tough to say. Yeah, yeah. Memorial mural. A lot of M's. But it was just like the most disrespectful thing. But the, the weird thing was it was the people watching were like, stop. Hey. They were like filming. They yeah. were like, stop it. Don't do it on his face. Don't do that. Stop just on, it. Just on the like, chest. Y'all are like passionate enough to stand there and. Yell things, but not like I mean I, I'm not saying beat her up. This girl in Connecticut like, just defaced the mural of, of Nipsey at the skate park in Connecticut. Nobody did nothing about it. Mm-hmm. There's candles and everything in front of it, and clearly she just clowning. She don't get it. You know I get everybody be trying to do their little whole little thing for for clout or for likes, and we trying to be dangerous. People jump off skyscrapers and do all this, but this is just it's this, just, this is just wrong. Like, I hope she gets. Uh, nightmares. I hope Nipsey <laughs> haunt her dreams and be like, "Hey, I was cuz, not that. hey, cuz," and she's scared to death. Just have crip nightmares just every <laughs> night. Hey, cuz, <laughs> the marathon continues. But well, cause. here's the and plot And she just this. scared as fuck every night. Mama, he here again. <laughs> cuz this mama ain't gonna save you, cuz. <laughs> hey, that's on West Side. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he just get her and just shoot her in her dreams every night, like Nipsey Kruger, and she just get the her ass nightmare on Slauson. <laughs> <laughs> on Crenshaw every night. <laughs> <laughs> and he just got a blue stripe shirt. It's just one, just just one color. Banging hard every night. She got a bang. But I don't, where you from? I ain't from nowhere. Hey, I don't get bang. out that dream, You gonna bang tonight. Hey, but, on six, oh, but and just keep cripping. Nigga, let me you finish the story. Cripping. Goddamn, That's 20 minute joke. <laughs> but here's the plot twist. Here's the plot twist. You might as well wish that on the whole the whole crew. <laughs> right. Because they all gonna have them. Bro, they, it was apparently they were all in on it. On, on some sleuth shit, Twitter noticed that the one of the signs that this girl spray painted was literally on the back of the the shirt of the girl who was filming. Because she jumped on camera and was like, don't do his face, don't do his face. Which is interesting that she passed the camera off and like was right. like, let me get some clout too. But it's like, this was all a group effort. effort. But it's weird that they threw one girl under the bus. Like They're just like, you be the one that does it. Well, they were saying it like, they were like, I don't know if they were challenging her to do it or they were saying that, you know, she wouldn't do it and because she was like, I ain't no bitch. They were trying to bitch me. I ain't no bitch. I'm but she show never y'all. said why she was doing it. She that's, was just well, like, that's what she said because like, she was like, they were trying to play me. I ain't no bitch. I'm going to show them what's real. Like, that's, right? not, that's not real. Bitch, uh, no disrespect to Corey. Y'all was just coming out your mouths way too much, so I did what I did. Like, I don't know who Cor- who's Corey. I don't know. Somebody in that group, I guess. But uh, that's just, it's just too much. But I mean, like they. I heard they posted that address on uh, on Instagram or Twitter or something. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know, these crazy. Young kids is wild. These little young kids, wow! So, no, nah, fuck an egging. Somebody gonna come there, knock on the door, and spray paint her face. <laughs> 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 these little kids, <laughs> tag her face. They do it for nothing. And put it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and put neighborhood on the face. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I I just at this point I don't understand people. I just don't get it. There's literally no reason for that whatsoever. That shit was just weird. Like, I, nothing really surprises me at this point. There's just, like, an asshole to be against everything at this yeah. point. Like, it really doesn't yeah. matter what you do. So they you think might. being an asshole is cool. That's not, it's like, just being you is cool. Right. If you're an asshole, be an asshole. But if you're trying to do something, like, particularly for the reason to be an asshole, then that's not cool. You're and if you are dick. an asshole, stand on it. You yeah. at, don't try to back off and, oh, no, you guys calling me a bitch now. I'm just a little kid and all yeah. this. No, 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 no. You an asshole against the, against society. Stand on it. You 50's know an asshole. He don't shy away he from it. Man. He just be like, yeah, man. So what? Fuck you and your whole <laughs> yeah, ass man. girlfriend, dog. <laughs> that shit is crazy. <laughs> but that's your producer. <laughs> 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 don't care. And then you going to put out some That's a great 50 shit. laugh. <laughs> Let me try. <laughs> 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 you a Muppet. <laughs> How you do it? How you do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, don't f- and don't forget about that bitch, too. They owe me some money, oh, too, the, man. The teeth part. Don't forget, yeah, about, yeah, don't forget about that bitch, I got bitch shot too. nine times, my nigga. You know, I got shot nine times, my nigga. That's why I talk funny. You sound like a, a West Coast 50, though. <laughs> <laughs> you can't turn your West Coast off. <laughs> I can turn. Come on. You can't. Son. Come on, son. 
Come on. He's <laughs> just going to say son to make it easy. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, but, you know, like, <laughs> Do it back, again? back in the day, like, before Buck did his thing with the transgender, like, <laughs> I had everybody wearing my ah, clothes. Before Buck did his thing. Everybody with wearing, oh, know, damn, that did happen. I, I had everybody wearing G on it, like, like white feet. I had Lloyd. G on it. <laughs> baby oil. No, you're you know Kermit, I'm my nigga. You are just Kermit the homeless frog. <laughs> <laughs> You should never ever <laughs> try again. He piggy. That's like <laughs> that's like trying a new dance when you just somebody saw somebody do it. Take your ass home and practice in the mirror first. Kermit. The fuck you trying to debut? <laughs> you trying to debut it on the podcast? Then go home. God damn. You're in Frogland. No courage. It's just frogs peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I was trash. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I won't try that again. Moving, Moving right on along. Fast. Moving right along. Um, right, let me try a fifty cent. <laughs> 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 Wait, that's not fifty cent. <laughs> you just want the Nelson? Want the Simpsons? Cause one day we'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> the rainbow connection. <laughs> that shit was trash, my nigga. Well, I mean, silver lining. I know I could do a decent Kermit. There you go. <laughs> That's how you find it. There you, you fucking go, it, champ. <laughs> hey, Miss Piggy. I don't know. Well, I, was, I lost it already. Yeah, you did. There you go. You All right. Well, you I'm not imper- I'm not doing impersonations, man. It's not my thing. Yeah. I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna be me. So, moving right along on some crazy shit. Uh, some some fishermen found a beluga whale that was wearing a harness. Nice. It was uh, it was off the Norway's uh, nice. northern coast, and they basically found a harness with mounts for a camera. Right. Okay. Um. So they're like, hmm? perfect. So they like it, it was being kind of playful, but they can kind of tell it was like, can you can you get this off me? So, wait, like a harness, like literally, like how you strap on a GoPro for a camera. Yeah. It was like that, yeah, like a vest, and it. But they, it had like Russian military symbols on it. So now they're like, uh, we think this whale escaped from a like a military base. He's uh-huh. an agent whale. Um. So so. <laughs> He's a seal. He's a marine. <laughs> <laughs> this is a man of honor. He deserves respect. <laughs> Salute, sir. You gotta treat him with respect. The Russians will kill us if we agent do- whale. harm him. Agent. That's what they were like. <laughs> that baseline creative over there, like we lost Agent Whale. <laughs> Which one was that? You know the the whale we were the training. Whale, the, bl- <laughs> the beluga whale. The whale we were training. <laughs> I thought maybe that the, the whale was trying to <laughs> drop this somewhere and it was hoping to capture some type of intelligence That's on the another whale country. Got a last name. Appa- I mean, they said the Navy has been trying to train belugas to conduct military operations before, like guarding naval bases. That whale got a kid, <laughs> helping divers, a wife. That, kid got, that whale got a family. That's wait, that's de- sh- sh- Detective Shabinsky. <laughs> <laughs> that took a lot of effort to get out. <laughs> that nigga tongue needs a nap at the time. <laughs> Force that out. <laughs> but that was just like, what? They said that we know that Russian military during the Cold War were training belugas to sniff out mines or old torpedoes. So belugas been in the service. They've been out here well, been with the stripes. You. Um, <laughs> a five-star general in there. You know, oh, you know, shit! Years. But I just thought that was kind of, kind of scary. Like, what are people doing, low key? Because they were just like, I don't know. They, they, they got a, a spy, a whale spy out here. So living it's like, what else are they trying to do? Life living in a gangster's paradise. Nice just little, like nice little callback. You see I that? Like that. Mm. You gotta nice respect these callback. animals, man. Respect that gangster, man. All right, <laughs> they out here. That's shit was crazy. They out here, bro. Um, but really quickly, uh, I do want to say this before the conspiracy theory, uh, theory today. Um, mm. we did lose a legend in entertainment, mm. uh, yesterday. I guess yeah. by the time this came out, this comes out, um, it'll be earlier this week. Uh, rest in peace, John Singleton. Yeah. Uh, he died at 51, which is crazy young yeah. and really scary. Um, you know, he gave us classics like Boys in the Hood. He Poetic Justice. Why you looking at me like that? I was gonna say, please don't mess up his movies. I thought you were gonna. <laughs> you gave us Menace to Society. You, you, I'm, I'm trying to be deep. You <laughs> gave me this look, like the side <laughs> eye that your mom gave you. But no, um, <laughs> I did want to just touch on that. Brad Albert. No, he <laughs> <did> <laughs> um, <laughs> he made Rosewood, dummy. Uh, but yeah, uh, I definitely just wanted to give a quick shout out, rest in peace rest to John in peace, Singleton. John. Yeah. Uh, and the the family of 
prayers up because that must be really, 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 really tough. Um, Family and friends. Cause What's your favorite John a Singleton movie, bro? Boys in the Hood for sure. <laughs> yeah. Probably Boys in the Hood for me, too. Come on, man. Ice Cube. That's when Ice Cube showed us what he had for the first time. Young Doe Boy. How did you feel when Ricky died? Ricky was Ricky was tough. You know what? Randomly, I was more I was sadder about the like Ice Cube walking away and f- and fading and it being like he was shot two two day, two weeks later or whatever that was. Remember at the end, mm. I was like the mystery behind that was just more sa- sad to me because it was just like the the cycle continues and it just keeps going as opposed to just seeing somebody die. That was pretty sad too. But see. I don't know about y'all. I was most upset about that movie. That why didn't Ricky zigzag? Zag. Everybody's upset yeah. about that. Yeah, you are running back. And what what alley you is this where there are no like no dumpsters that you can hide behind? Like that alley okay. was just it was made for meta. shooting people. You could hop a fence. I mean, you know I don't understand don't why right, running straight would be the the thing to do. But I mean, I don't. I don't. There's a lot. Of, I mean, it was a residential neighborhood. Yeah, but that's that's where the dumpsters are. You got to take your stuff out. All right, trash out you were somewhere. raised by alley cats in St. Louis. That's why. No. That right. fell flat. And that's There's what it sounds like to bomb, that, guys. Open that that's up for right, let me pad that. ups. Yeah. Don't close the book. <laughs> Still <laughs> yeah. Still going. Yeah, Alley Cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That brings us to our conspiracy corner. Oh, really quick about John Singleton. Um, the family said he struggled with hypertension, uh, which is – you know, the early yeah, onset high, high blood pressure, which is somewhat present, uh, preventable. It does run in families, but you can adjust your diet. And I only mention that because as black men, yeah, we need to be more aware of our health. <laughs> so I had a hypertension, and I got on a peer regimen, and I changed my diet, and I no longer have it. So what go get you checked do? out. What, when you say your regimen, just I, real my, quick. Eating. Obviously. I never ate a whole lot of fried foods, but I, I reduced the amount of fried foods that I did eat. I started working out more. And I started eating more green foods. And okay. yeah, salt, man. Salt. Leave that shit alone. You don't need it. If you have to cook Is that what salt, he died of? Um, they, they said the, the stroke, stroke might have been caused by the hypertension. And that's by salt. Uh, hypertension is just high blood pressure in general. It could be from stress. It could be from your eating habits. It could run in the family. You could just naturally have like a higher blood pressure. But even if that's the case, you need to. The only way to know is to go to the doctor. Right. Like and get checked out mm-hmm. and just know your numbers, man. Like people be out here fucking and afraid to have conversations about STDs. Like you can't be doing shit like that. Like you got to inform yourself. That's why like, I was open about Stay informed. Nah, yo Y'all didn't ridiculous. even know that. Anyway, stay, yeah, stay informed, man. Stay, stay informed and, and, and go to the doctor. We be scared to go to the doctor because we don't want to hear no bad news. Man, go get that shit checked out. Yeah, I'll, 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 the doctor. I'll, I'll even share a little something. A lot of people be clowning me because I'm little or whatever. But one of my little secrets why I stayed, why I'm like this, be honest with you, when I was in my probably like 21 or something like that and I moved to the valley, I started seeing people who are in their 50s in better shape than me. And I noticed as as a black man, people in my family, my dad, my uncles, my brothers, dude, they be in their 40s and 50s and be fat and bloated and a lot like yeah. yourself. And I was like, I don't want to be like that. I want to be fit <laughs> even when I get older. So I stopped eating beef. I stopped eating pork. Nigga, that has nothing to do with your height. What are you talking about? <laughs> but it keeps my hypertension down. That's <laughs> you, why I don't have. <laughs> nigga said I moved to the valley, and that's why I'm no, short. No, but no, no, no. T- to here is, you feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. No, Fire bitch. hydrantly built. <laughs> and I didn't want to be short and wide. So I cut out the beef. I cut you don't out have the, the stature I cut out the pork. for that, it, number one. Number two, you did all of that just to, you see what I'm saying? But I may, I will have, I like I'll it. be honest with you. <laughs> I say, I cut out most of it. Like every once in a while, like maybe every two weeks, I might have a like a, a, a small hamburger or I may have a, a pizza or two or something. Then you didn't cut off beef, motherfucker. But I don't, I'm not on eat steak and, and like all kinds of It don't crazy matter. Shit. No, Just because does. you don't eat one form of beef, but you eat another, doesn't I see mean you're you upset cut out about beef. the fire hydrant <laughs> quotes, and it's it's burning with you right now, spilling your temperature right now. So I'm gonna let that reside. But I'm just saying that that's all. That's all. I'm just sharing my secret. You shared yours. I'm sharing mine. I cut down on the beef and the pork. And as a black man now, I'm, what do you I'm identify as? A man, woman, or other? <laughs> see. <laughs> What about speaking Bob, of Patrick? He, che- he checks bobblehead. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of Patrick, what are your secrets um, to, to staying your, healthy? Uh, yeah, to staying healthy, to your um, girlish frame. <laughs> 
I don't you're know, a I size take, six. I, I take vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> I exercise sometimes. I don't know. I need to exercise. You take a vitamins? Lot more. <laughs> I take a lot of estrogen vitamins. pills. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's not a vitamin. <laughs> it's a I shot. Take, I take alive <laughs> fish oil, turmeric. You do this every morning? Uh-huh. This a, really? Um, nice, bro. And magnesium, I think. Nice, yeah. bro. And uh, so I think zinc or something. What about your eating habits? I used to eat like trash, but I'm uh-huh. I'm eating more uh, salad now. Cool. I like salad. I made myself like salad. Yeah, that's cool, bro. Yeah, eating vet, dude, eating a lot of greens, like you said, drinking. Wa- I just learned this: uh, if you drink water with limes and lemons in it, they said it's a doctor's one of one of Doctor Seabee's little deals. You know, it keeps mucus down and stuff. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the dentists be tripping on that shit. They're like, that's acidic. Don't ever like the dentist is so od. I just went. Yeah. They'd be like, man, don't. Don't brush your teeth. It's acidic. I'm like, what? 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 Yeah. <laughs> they don't want you drinking orange juice. They say orange juice is too acidic. It breaks down the enamel of your teeth. It's all of that shit is in moderation, though. They just te- right. they give it to you like that so you'll be aware of it and you'll be afraid to do it too much. Right. But everything is in fucking moderation. If you eat too much salad, that's a sin. You're not supposed to eat anything you like OD sin? like that. Sin? Yeah, because you know, it's one of the daily sins. Is not salad? daily. But is to do <laughs> anything too much. Gluttony. Yeah, gluttony. Yeah. So who's gluttonous with salad though? I mean No. <laughs> no. It don't work there. Touché. Touché. It don't work there. I just heard who's gluttonous and then I'll <laughs> <laughs> <That's me. laughs> <Hey. laughs> I mean, guilty you're <laughs> guilty as charged. He eats potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> fire though. It's fire though. Hilarious. Anyway, let's move on to the conspiracy theory. All right, so that brings us officially to the conspiracy corner. Cue the eerie music. Ooh, 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 ooh. We got killers. We got killers today. We got killers. We got killers today. They talking about me. Hey, not killers. A cannibal. Oh, kill a nigga and eat him. That's not kill a bitch. <laughs> then eat her. <laughs> Kill two people. <laughs> it double snack. <laughs> <laughs> so I today it. I have two. Well, they're not really conspiracies. My cons- my term of conspiracy is loose, but these are more just two crazy things that actually happened. Um, and they're a little quick. I got a little hits blunt fact in the middle. Oh, him, oh. <laughs> yeah. How you mm-hmm. feel about that? Mm-hmm. The hits mm-hmm. blunt. You just got a computer Excuse virus. <laughs> 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 so part Sugar. one is about a sickening serial killer mm-hmm. named Joe Metheny, uh, who used to kill people and then put them into burgers. Well, got waste your not attention. want not. Got your attention, right? So first of all, this guy's name is Joe Metheny. So anybody named Joe Meth. <laughs> Probably should keep an keep an eye on, but you know, All typical right. serial killer story. Um, well, not actually. He had like a good upbringing, kind of like nobody really thought he was crazy. Sort of just like whatever. Um, he was what morbidly he, obese. Okay, I was yeah. just about to ask you, what did he look like? With a bloodlust few have rivaled. Okay, um, how are you morbidly obese mm-hmm. and serial killer? I guess uh, I don't know. Maybe that that's means how he you got have to. Out. That means you post mating. <laughs> your your murder is like, like no, you're I mean, morbidly obese. That means you're not leaving the house. You're just chilling. No, nah, he's he's leaving the house to kill. Well, morbid also could just mean like deathly or sickly. Like obese. about to die. That like that somebody obese. can be obese without being morbid. You still mobile. You could be morbidly obese. And but still when be you mobile. get to morbidly obese, to that just means you're dangerous. Mean? All your levels are high. Know your numbers. How far? Right. I'm talking about a, uh, somebody making nigga sandwiches, and you guys are obsessed with his morbidly obesity. Well, because I'm like, well, how far are you from morbidly obesity? I feel like it was maybe a year ago, two years I ago. Think, yeah, I think you got. <laughs> I think you got close. I think you got close <laughs> before you started doing your I, yoga. I keep walking into it every time he does it. He, it's always a setup for a jab, and I keep walking into this thing. Before you started eating your, your green leaf spinach, you started eating. <laughs> <laughs> I got to fucking your stop trying to educate in the, morning. the youth. <laughs> <laughs> he was more. <laughs> he was Brent hasn't been the same yet. since he went to the slut walk. And I, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm happy for him, but damn. Calm down, little mama. <laughs> <laughs> we out here. <laughs> we out here. All right, so <laughs> Joe Meth, Joe the Cannibal Methany, morbidly obese, bloodlust, right? So he admitted to at least eight murders dating back to 1976. 
Um, and it's what he did with his victims that's crazy. So in 1995, he lured prostitutes into his trailer. So Kathy Ann Magaziner and uh, I told you he Kath ordered Kimberly his food. Spicer. Yeah, he I guess so. That, I yeah. told you he ordered his food. Stabbed him, strangled him, all that stuff. Dismembered him, stored the flesh to eat later. Right, because he he's fat. In court, no, get this. In court, <laughs> he said he cut the meat up and put them in Tupperware bowls. And put he's it in fat. And put it in freezer. Because That's he's crazy. fat. And he's white, so you know he didn't season them shit. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> um, That's fucked up that... Uh, Fuck, I had a. I had but a hold on, it gets better. It gets much better. So he said, I opened up a little pit beef stand and had. <laughs> and basically, he said he had real roast beef and pork sandwiches. And they sold were really it good. To paying customers. Yes, nigga. He said he, the human body tastes very similar to pork. So that's a good reason to they stop eating pork. They were very good. So if you mix it together, no one can tell the difference. Look at this nigga, by the way. I think he got <laughs> obese. Um, oh. So. When the supply and he got called bodies it, on him. he called it special meat. So who wants the special meat? Whenever his supplies uh, dried up, he invited other pr prostitutes uh, to his trailer and re-upped. Nice. Uh, Damn. People would do anything for money because if he's morbidly obese, like they had to pull up, like fuck, I really got, I really. But that's how serious rent, he is about being fat. Even when you killing, you still want to make a hamburger. Like you fat bastard. You fat <laughs> Pass fuck. your blood list. You fat blood? fuck. He's you just like it. covered in blood. Like <laughs> <sighs> I could go for a snack. <laughs> 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 Think I'll just dip in his hands in the blood. Like <laughs> that is. Just eat you. <laughs> that is interesting and disgusting all at the same time. Look at this. He says, I, I, I um, I turned around for a split second. She ran out the door. Uh, there was an eight foot chain link with barbed wire around the uh, front. Uh, that bitch scaled those pallets like a monkey jumped the fence and ran down the maid road. <laughs> he was mad. She got away. That's the one that got away. The one that got away. I wonder he if that's said where that bitch scaled. Is that Walk where that? Wire. Is that where the? I need you to go back Face comes from the one that got away. Man, re no. I need you to reread what you just said, bro. That just that just hit me. Did you? He just said. Say he he said. I turned around for a split second because I guess he was like beating her up. And then uh, she ran out the door. Eight foot chain link fence. fence with barbed wire on top of it around the front. There was a stack of wooden pallets next to the fence about 10 feet high. So I guess she scaled the pallets like a monkey and jumped the fence and ran down the main road and then told on them. <laughs> and I would have got away from it. I got away, got, got away with it if it, it wasn't, wasn't for this. Meddling kids. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's crazy shit. But the so you will not eat me. Like I will. Special meat? Can you imagine? Sp First yeah. of all, that if you go up to a nigga named Joe Meth and find and buy a roast beef sandwich, that sounds really unsanitary. And where was the meat stand? Because I hope it wasn't close to the trailer. Well, yeah, where was he? Shit close to a trailer. What city? They say he was off sixty first. <laughs> Out here? <laughs> no, hang on. Let me see where it's. That's that's just disturbing and disgusting. Uh, I don't know where. It, if that's what the special meat was made of, you already know what the special sauce was made out of. Oh what Lord. is it? <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, he's a serial killer, so what does that imply? I, I just Blood? Semen? Yeah, that was nut. Nut? It was just nut. Could be ketchup. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, it said um, he was in South Baltimore, Maryland. There you go. Um, working as a truck driver when his crack-addicted old lady. Um, nice. I guess he started his bloodlust when they left him. Uh, so he just started killing homeless niggas with an axe mm -hmm. or something. And then uh, at some point, he was just like, <laughs> oh, this killing got me hungry mm. as fuck. This nigga was really out here selling cold cuts. That shit is crazy. Mm -hmm. You guys didn't like that? No. All right, well, here's a list of other uh, <laughs> sandwich, <laughs> sandwich things I prepared. Ooh, I got another one. Hamburger. This nigga was making BLT, bitch lettuce and tomatoes. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. All right. He I was, give you that one. That one was good. He made a prostituna melt. That's All right. good. That's good. I'm, I'm not going to laugh at it, but it's good. That's Peanut good. butter and Shelly sandwich. <laughs> there you go. All right. There it is. Ah! There you go. I like that. Ah. Bacon, leg, and cheese. Yeah, I see the potential. You see how it's kind of fading as yeah, I go? Yeah. Sloppy Josephine. That's good. Okay. <laughs> you really? You really? Wait, you really, did you really do this? <laughs> a list. You really? <laughs> that makes them funnier that you <laughs> did this. You was like, I have a list. this is going to kill them. This is well, I had I made one, and I was like, I wonder how many I could do. <laughs> I mean, Read Josephine them off. Let's hear what you peanut got. Butter and peanut butter and chili. Peanut butter and chili. I got a few more. <laughs> I don't know why this isn't in the newspaper. You need to send it in to the media. All right, this one's pretty good. Below knee sandwich. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You're talented, You're man. You're good at this, Patrick. I'm being dark as fuck. I'm going to end on that one. I don't, I don't like the rest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm you not confident in that. You got to end on a high note, man. <laughs> All right, so just so I don't talk about two horrible things back to back, I have a really quick hits blunt fact. <laughs> we were just talking about being healthy, <laughs> and you hit a tobacco drive. Uh, so this one is brought to us. Oh, dang. Did I not write down their at? Oh, no, I did. Okay, by Anissa. God, how do y'all pr- name yourself? Anissa Faizi, and it's very interesting. What do blind people dream about? If you were born blind, um, and you have, I mean, we have really vivid dreams. Mm -hmm. So do they fall asleep, see all this crazy stuff, and then Blind people don't know when they're asleep, nigga. That is so ignorant. (laughs) I swear to God, they didn't, they didn't. That I got a blind so cousin. Ignorant. I have a blind cousin. She go for walks at three in the morning. Oh God, nigga, she'll just walk out and go for a walk with the dog and shit. And my auntie be getting mad and shit. And she be like, "Why is she walking out at three in the morning? It's dangerous out there." And I'm like, "Auntie, she blind. She don't fucking know, nigga. It's, she doesn't know it's safe." At, nigga, at, she at didn't 10 know it, and shit. She didn't know it's it was dark. three a.m. She don't know it's dark outside. It's she dark knows all the when time. she's awake she and when she's the asleep. Fuck? Why is you scary now to nigga. her? It's always dark to her. It's always three in the morning. Auntie, Blind the people still have to walk around and say stuff. Blind people don't know. Oh, it's getting dark. I'm tired and shit. No, they just she, fall asleep. She it will be. Was like, why ain't nobody talking to me? Bitch, they sleep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. I see how it is. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to tell you. It's all <laughs> dark. It's all sleep, fool ass. What y'all in here doing? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Bad. The silent treatment, huh? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Wait, that actually <laughs> get, gives me another question. How do they know what time it is? Are there Braille watches? Hey, Siri, what time is it? Ooh. That's how they know what time My it is. My blind cousin is on awesome. Facebook. Awesome. I'm going to say this one more time. Do you My know the Siri is recent is on and Facebook blind people have been out for a minute? And she's on Instagram. Mm. My blind cousin is on Instagram as well. She ain't Hitting at likes. Cam- she ain't take- she ain't Giving at the me likes, the nigga. Pictures. Giving it's me likes into on making my fun of blind people. I'm no, so sorry. No, I'm being so true. She be liking my posts on Facebook and shit. She be like, that shit was funny as fuck, cousin. Nigga, the only people who like your posts are blind people. It's <laughs> <laughs> a couple of devils. Your trash ass headshots. <laughs> you love my headshots. You love my headshots. You hit the, the fist pump and everything. That's hey, good. double tap and thinking they on the rocks page and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was <laughs> <laughs> Thought they typed in Brad Pitt. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Okay. See what you did there. Okay. See what you did. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Damn. So my last and final conspiracy. This one is actually <laughs> pretty crazy. I'm gonna give you guys the log line up front, then I'm explain it. All right. So this story is about a 300-year-old werewolf that convinced a little girl to kill her entire family. Okay. Chapter one. (laughs) So this is the Richardson family murders, okay? It's kind of famous. This all took place in a city called Medicine Hat. Medicine Hat, Canada. Uh, Probably tell it's pretty Caucasian. Um, (laughs) So this daughter, um, she was 12 years old. Her Uh. name is Jasmine. Her boyfriend was 23 years old, and his name was Jeremy Stink. Stank, and she stank. was 12? She was 12. And he wow. Wow. Very this is yes. already starting off pretty fucked up. Already stank pretty that, fucked bro. up. Um, so they were uh, convicted on three counts of first-degree murder. Uh, the daughter turned 13 before getting convicted. So this is What happened to the wolf? Which up. one talked to the wolf? So the, the dude was the wolf, all right? What? So... I'm going to tell you about him. He was 23 years old. His nickname was Werewolf. Uh, he had a bad upbringing. His mother was alcoholic, was abused, all that stuff. He was bullied. Um, so he u- he told his friends that he was a 300-year-old werewolf, and he liked the taste of blood. He wore a blood-filled vial around his neck and also had an account on the website vampirefreaks.com. Okay, The freaks come out at night. 
I don't fuck with. I, I mean, to each his own. The whole goth the thing with blood <laughs> freaks me out. <laughs> so look at this on the website. This is his interest: <laughs> scarification. The freaks come out. Pain. <laughs> How is pain your interest? Hey man. Yeah. Kinky fetishes, blood and razor blades. Sounds like the worst nigga ever. All right, <laughs> so. Uh, Sounds like you, Patrick. He describes himself as an individual who believes in blood, Destru- destruction, guts, gore, a and greed. gothic individual like gothic. yourself. I'm not gothic. So <laughs> look at your fingers. It's not hitting. You painting. Uh, what is nope. it? Tattoo? You got moons on your knuckles. Hmm. hmm. And triangles. You're still going. That's crazy. This is also <laughs> what it sounds like to Bob. Ladies and <laughs> All right. So apparently they met on VampireFreaks.com. Uh, the 12-year-old. The 12-year-old. Okay. Yeah. And she liked that. She was criticized for the relationship, obviously. So she described herself as bisexual, wicked, nocturnal. Do not ever fuck with a bitch who describes herself as nocturnal. Awkward, a deep thinker, and insane. Insane wait, 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 wait. was the last wait, wait, one. Wait, right. <laughs> Out of all that crazy shit, she said, I'm a deep thinker. And a deep thinker. <laughs> Just sit down. Shut up. Her hobbies include dark, dark poetry, nice. criminal psychology, blood. That's a high a hobby. Kinky shit and nice. human anatomy. Wait, what twelve year old is into what was it? You said criminal dark poetry and criminal psychology. What twelve year old you know is into criminal like who who does that? You didn't even want to attempt you didn't to talk the about the kinky psychology. shit. Huh? I wanna go fuck it up. I don't want, <laughs> a, I don't want another hash. Uh so her parents forbid her to see Jeremy, obviously, because they're parents. And uh, she started talking about killing her parents. Um, she said nobody would separate them. Um, Yo, when the werewolf coming out, bro? I heard it was a three hundred. That's just werewolf. that's just what his his spirit was a three hundred year old. None of this. Dog. His his Where spirit was a three hundred. When did he turn into the wolf? Bro? If you would shut the Fam? fuck up, I'm <laughs> telling you that this nigga's spirit was a three hundred year old werewolf. There is no werewolf. Ouija board knuckles and shit in front of me. <laughs> Get to the point with the wolf, dog. How so her that, parents bro? her parents did what any loving parent would do. They would protected her. Um, so. They thought, well, the only way to be together is to kill these niggas. So, <laughs> uh, apparently, she said she wrote her she wrote his uh, her boyfriend this letter. I have this plan. This is the most fifteen year old shit ever. Oh, and she said she was fifteen year olds years old. She was twelve, but she said she was fifteen. Just doesn't make him any less weird. Right. Um, but she is said, that him right there? Yeah. Nice. She said, I have this plan. It begins with me killing them and ends with me living with you. That that's, was it. That's, that's some twelve year old shit. It sounds like the whole plan. Right. <laughs> two, two bullet I'm points. I'm ask you one more question before I get upset. All right. Where is the motherfucking wolf? <laughs> he no. is the wolf. He's the wolf. Jeremy is the wolf. When is he gonna turn into the wolf? All right. You keep trying this joke. It's not working. It's not a joke. I'm asking. <laughs> he's you. a gothic ass weird digger who he's the, uh, he has an account on vampirefreaks.com and he thinks so he's a three hundred year old. You start this story off. There's a three hundred year old werewolf. And I'm telling you that this is other. him. So his reply is payment. Uh. <laughs> The, the, she continues to think that I came into her life to help her out. That's bullshit. Their throats I once slit. They will regret what they have done, especially when I see that they are gone. They shall pay for their insolence. Finally, there shall be silence. Their blood shall be payment. There's Man, your werewolf, His name is nigga. Jeremy Stinky. What, what else <laughs> he gonna be, bro? That's, God, that's, damn, that's why he got booked. <laughs> Fuck, dog. Because he talked like that. So, <laughs> fast forward. Um, <laughs> you imagine him talking like that in the, in the cafeteria? <laughs> everybody's trying hey, to blood. eat. We're like, nigga, what? Did you just you all pay for your insulin? Shut the trip. fuck up and get out of the pizza line. Did you just say insulin? Yo, stinky ass. Yo, stinky ass. All right, so. He got diabetes. Here's what's crazy. So, they used to watch this uh, movie called Natural Born Killers. Um, Good movie. You've seen that? Yeah. So I guess that's about s- a similar thing. They kill their, um, some people kill their parents, right? Um, and then they go on like a, cr- a killing spree together, something like that. Um, so on the night of uh, the, the murder, Jeremy entered the Richardson's home uh, and they entered the room of her brother and he told her to stab her brother who was eight um, as he did everything for her. Um, she said that she cannot, and her brother pleaded for his life and said oh. she is too young to die. Jasmine grabbed him from behind and stabbed him in the chest. Damn. Jeremy then slit his throat. Then they went and murked the parents. Uh, How'd they kill the parents? I think they just stabbed him up. Uh, two hours after the murders, they were laughing and eating at a restaurant. So this is just some sick-ass shit. So the police basically found this family and thought that the kid, the daughter was taken. Um, but then they were found and arrested. And um, man, shit fucking up my heart, dog. Can you talk <laughs> about? I thought he was gonna put on a wolf. 
I promise you, I'm not even trying to be funny. I, I told you a long time ago that there was on. no wolf. I thought he was going to at least put an outfit on, like a wolf See, cop, mascot outfit. This is why we have this. You are a little kid. You were just like, but where's the wolf, Papa? And I'm like, <laughs> no, that was, <laughs> that was all just like a, and all that. That was just a, was an analogy. Snout, like, he just thought he was a wolf. But I was waiting for the wolf. Where's the big bad wolf? <laughs> but here's what's fucked up. So this dude got <laughs> all counts. He got three counts of third degree, first degree murder. Um... Uh, I think he was given like a couple of life s- sentences. Uh, mm-hmm. I think it was like maybe three. How long did she get? Here, that's the thing. She was pleaded. Um, she was found guilty as the youngest person ever convicted of murder in Canada. Everybody's nice as shit out there. How much time did she get? She got sentenced to the maximum of ten years. Ten in prison. years. What? So she will be twenty three per- when she gets out. Per person no, nigga. or look, look, go back. No, no. Here's the thing. Oh, twenty five. She's eligible for parole. No, nigga. She is out. She wow. got out. She got out in 2016. So wow. how much time? Did she, when did Chilling. this happen? When did this happen? Uh, this was all in 2006. So oh, she yeah. got 10 years. So she got to 10 years. Oh yeah, she, she got out. 10 years. She did her bit. But that's fucking nuts. And she out in the street. So don't go to Canada, bro. She. No, I mean, you go to Canada. Just don't go to Machine Hat Canada. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Though. Machine Hat. No. Yeah, something like that. It was something like nope. Medicine Hat. <laughs> medicine, <laughs> medicine Hat. Medicine Hat. Medicine Canada. Hat yeah. Canada. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she killed Which one was it? This bitch killed her whole family and out Medicine at 23. Hat. Wow. Right? And she just wow. out and about. Meanwhile, I guess she's uh, uh, remorseful. But then, the, then the little boy a couple years ago uh, body slammed his, his little sister or something. Got like 50 years. Nigga. Like we would crazy. never get this. We they well they, they charge old boy like he was a, a werewolf. They, they got sure. him three <laughs> life sentences. <laughs> Man. Damn! They, <laughs> they put several <laughs> bullets around this nigga's neck in this jail cell. Damn. Uh, <laughs> he had some. <laughs> <laughs> he had some. You were a little fucked. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just put that as your last markup. And um, well, well, no, what did I do? You had I mean, you had a good, you had a good, you had the silver Wait. bullets kind of. But I mean, you the still won. won I got five. I got five, and you got four. I think we can, we might have to do this every episode. Nah, Hilarious. fuck that. <laughs> you still, still fucked up more than me. That's what I just right, said. I'm warm. just going to be quiet for the rest of the... Right, because you... Uh, uh, what did you say? For the rest of the what? I didn't say anything. I just stopped. You want to sign out for us? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I'm going to hate Marcus for the rest of the year. You going to hate what? Pat. Marcus. Marcus. That's a Marcus. I heard Marcus. I heard of you. In Marcus. Marcus. Y'all, not, y'all not going to fuck Marcus. me up for being country. St. Louis is the country? Marcus. Is St. Louis country? That country grammar, motherfucker. Country grammar. Country grammar. Dirty eye. Ah. Oh, that's pretty country. Damn. Number one. Oh. Yeah. I'm just oh, trying to make oh. you talk more. Yeah. Now fuck that. <laughs> Marcus. This has been another episode of the internet is undefeated. Can you take I'm that back? Real hard. To no. Be clear of that. I right. am going to speak very slow. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> and direct. Oh, let that country out, dog. My name is Tahir Moore. Come on, dirty. Come on, dirty. <laughs> you don't know about that right there, dirty. Come and on, dirty. And I am Patrick Cloud. <laughs> it's Thank your you. boy. Britt Taylor, y'all. Give, uh, tell them to like, share, and subscribe. Please like. <laughs> share. Come on, dirty like that. And subscribe. You heard me? And what? Subscribe. I said it correctly. Did you hear me? We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> well, what? We'll see you guys next week. From where? Dang it! Right. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs>